Shalom, Yisrael. This uh, important message today is going to be about the birth of Yehoshua. And the reason why I'm bringing this topic up today is because there are a lot of um, uh, Hebrew Israelite uh, organizations putting out uh, incorrect information. And I want to touch bases on this information about the birth of Yehoshua because there are some uh, organizations going around and putting the information out that his birth was not a virgin birth. Okay? And many of them use other resources, other books outside of the Bible. Now, there's nothing going to other resources uh, outside of the Bible. But the one thing you have to understand is you want that resource on the outside of the Bible to match what the Bible, uh, you know, to what the Word is saying. You want it to match because if it does not say the same as what the Bible is saying, then it is incorrect information. Okay? And people like to change the Word of the Most High, too. I mean, they like to change it. And what he tells you, don't take away or add to his word. Don't do it. Which is exactly what some of these uh, Hebrew organizations are teaching. Okay? And I want to correct them on the information that they're putting out. And putting out to our people and putting out to the world. And I'm going to show you right here in scripture that uh, his birth is a virgin birth. Okay, so just bear with me. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. Okay. <clears throat> now, where we're going to start from, we're going to start from Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25, King James uh, Version. Okay, so you can get your Bibles out, uh, uh, open up your uh, uh, Bible app on, on your phone, but it's King James Version, and you should, and I want you to read along with me as I read because this information is actually very important and you should know it okay now where well, we're starting from Matthew 1 uh, 18 to 25 now the birth of Yehoshua was on this wise when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together she was found with the child of the Holy Ghost okay now the word expels. When it said they was espoused before uh, be, be, uh, uh, his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together. The word espoused mean uh, of a woman being engaged to a particular man. Okay, so she was engaged with Joseph before they came together, which means before they came together in marriage. And the marriage signified. Uh, 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 signifying uh, uh, sexual intercourse continuously, which is how the Most High see it, uh, uh, the, the uh, union uh, as, as you know, marriage coming together. Okay, so she was engaged, you know, saying before they came together. Okay, so they wasn't married at that particular time when uh, Christ was in her. Uh, 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 womb. Okay, now I'm going to prove this. Just bear with me here. We that that's 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 proves some uh, uh, more of the when it well when it goes down it talks about the Holy Ghost. And it's talk and and it says uh, she was with child with the Holy Ghost. Now what you got to understand is that the Holy Spirit has been a division of the Most High. Okay, and they are one. Now, before we read the rest of Matthew, let's go see that they are one. Okay? Because I just want to show you some things. 1 John 5, 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, which is uh, the Messiah, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Okay? And that also proves my other point that if the Messiah was already in heaven as the Word... That already goes to show you that he was already in heaven and he was of the Father. He did not come from Joseph. So the Father, the Word, which is the Son, and the Holy Ghost. 
you know what I'm saying, was all in heaven. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one, okay? And let's move forward <clears throat> to the rest of uh, uh, Matthew, uh, verse 19. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, <clears throat> and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately, okay? So, him being a just man, you know, because he was so just. Let's see what just means first. It's, just means moral excellence or a good man, okay? So, he, was, he had a lot of morals, values, okay? With the, he, he followed uh, the, the most high. He was a just man. He was a very good man, okay? Now, because he was such a very good man, and even though he didn't know how Mary got pregnant, he didn't want to make a public example of her. So when he was going to put her away, when, when he was thinking about putting her away, he was going to do it privately because he was a good man. He wasn't going to make her into a public example and parade her name because he was a just man. Okay? <clears throat> so his own morals minded himself to put her away privately. Okay, now let's go down and read and see what happened. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of Yahweh appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thy son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. Okay, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. They as one and the same. Okay. Now do y'all hear this? It was telling her not. It, the, 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 the uh, father. Sent the angel to him. To uh, say. Uh, don't be ashamed. Keep uh, her as your wife. And now. This also goes to show that. This proves that he did not impregnate Mary. Now, if the father had to send an angel to Joseph in his dream to tell her that she was not, uh, 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 that, that uh, her conception was from the Holy Spirit of the Most High, then that's telling you right there that Joseph did not have sex with Mary and impregnated her. You see how this is all in the scripture? Let us read it one more time. This is verse 20, Matthew chapter 1, okay? But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of Yahweh appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, um, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. They as one and the same. So he just told you. Uh, uh, conceived. You know what I'm saying. The seed in her. Is from the Holy Ghost. She's pregnant. Uh, of, uh, from a seed of the Father. From the, from, from the Holy Ghost. She was made pregnant. Suddenly. You know what I'm saying. By the Spirit. Okay. Not by Joseph. He just said it right there in Scripture. He had to send an angel to tell him that. Okay, so, so that's why it's very important that y'all go and y'all read these things so these people cannot lie to you. Okay, now let's go on down farther. 21 And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yehoshua, for he shall save his people from their sins. 20, 22 Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of Yahweh by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child. <clears throat> now, um, uh, the uh, word virgin in the uh, uh, Zandervan's dictionary means a young woman, a, a young unmarried woman. Okay. 
and uh, a woman meaning also that she not have been defiled because she was never married uh, before the Holy Spirit made her with child okay God wouldn't uh, you know what I'm saying she was not defiled he, he would not have used a defiled woman to impregnate his seed with okay it, the, the seed came straight from the Father through the Holy Spirit okay now let's go see and, and um, let's go see that uh, if you have sex before marriage, uh, you are defiled. Now, we already know that she was engaged. Okay? They didn't get married until after uh, she had her first son, which was Yehoshua. And as I read up top, they was exposed, uh, espoused. So, they was engaged. Okay? So, let's go see if, 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 if sex is unholy. Okay, as God say, uh, before marriage. This is in Hebrews uh, 13 and 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Okay, you hear that? Y'all would not have picked a defiled woman to carry and birth his perfect and only begotten son. Okay? Now, let's go back to Matthew. Uh, this is, you know, reading the rest of Matthew, chapter 1. We have verse 24 now. Then Joseph, being raised from, from sleep, did as the angel of Yahweh, of uh, Yahweh had bided him, and took unto him his wife, Okay. Now, um, go down to 25. And knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son. And he called his name Yehoshua. Okay, now did you hear that now? 25. Okay, it says he knew her not. That means he did not have sex with her. He did not know her. Okay? He knew her not. Let's read it again. He knew her not till she had brought forth her first son. And he called his name Yehoshua. He never had sex with her until after she birthed uh, Yehoshua. See how this stuff is just all sitting there in scripture? That's why I, I mean I just don't want y'all lied to. So I'm pointing these things out to you. Okay? All the the uh, false information that it wasn't a virgin birth when it actually is. Okay. Now, something else I want to point out to uh if now because uh, if you don't believe on the son that uh he is uh the seed of the father, the father's only begotten son, then that's the same as saying you don't believe on him. So you want to believe that he is the Messiah, but he's not the actual physical son of the Most High? That's the same as saying that you don't believe on him, which is putting yourself in jeopardy. And you have to believe on the father, you have to believe on the son, and you have to be baptized. And I'm going to show you all this, okay? To be saved and enter the kingdom. You have to. Okay. Now let's go see. Because uh, see nobody can enter the kingdom. Unless they accept the father. The son. And be baptized of the Holy Spirit. Because uh, the uh, father, the son and the Holy Spirit. Are all one unit. Okay. And I'm going to show you clearly. Okay. Uh, the definition of the word uh, trinity. Because some of you want to say that the word Trinity is a false, uh, the, the, the doctrine of the Trinity is a false doctrine. I'm going to show you right here in scripture that you have no idea what you're talking about. Okay? None whatsoever. Okay? The word Trinity meaning a group of three. Uh, two 
or more figures forming a complete unit in a composition or a number of individuals assembled together having some unifying relationship. Did, did you hear the definition of that? Okay. Now, I just read a definition. Let's go back and see what the scriptures say. Or, uh, you know, I just read to you that Trinity means three. A group or uh, two or more individuals uh, in a uni unifying relationship. Now, let's go see what 1 John says again. I just, just read it before. 1 John 5, 7. For there are three... Trinity, three, for there are three that bear records in heaven. The Father, one. The Word, two. And the Holy Ghost, three. And these three are one. Okay? I have to say that slow because some of you act like you slow. Okay? What is that? One, two, three. That's the Trinity. As I just read you the definition that it means three. That act as the, uh, that all has a signifying relationship acting as one unit. Okay? Let's read it again in 1 John 5, 7. So, y'all... Uh, for those who may not have understood it the first time when I read it. Uh, for there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Okay. So now you know that it's true. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's absolutely true. And it also goes to show you, I don't know if I said it before, but the son was in uh, heaven. Okay, before he was made flesh. He was sitting right up there in heaven as the word before he was made flesh. He did not come through Joseph. Okay. Now, uh, the fact that you must believe on the son and the father and be baptized, I'm about to show you right here in scripture. Okay. This is John 5, 23-24. That all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which hath sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believe, believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Okay? That's believing on the Father. You have to believe on the Father. Again, Hebrews 11.6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yah must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay? You have to believe on the Father. Okay, now, to, to prove that you have to believe on the Son. Okay? John 3, 34-36. Okay? For he whom y'all have sent speaketh the words of y'all. That's the Son. For y'all give, giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loveth the Son. And hath given all things into his hand. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth, believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of Yah abideth on him. <clears throat> okay. Now Acts 16.31 And they said, Believe on Yahweh, Yahoshua, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. Okay? Now, let's go, uh, that, that was shows that you have to believe on the Son. So now you know you have to believe on the Father and the Son. Now, let's go and uh, prove that you have to be baptized. 
Okay? John 3, 5 through 7. And Jehoshua answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of Yah. Okay? That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Okay? Mark, uh, go to uh, the book of Mark, chapter 16, 16. Uh, chapter 16, verse 16. He that believe, believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Okay? So now, I just showed you that you have to be baptized too, okay? You have to be baptized. Now, <clears throat> let's go and um, we're going to talk about the fact and and, and, and and like to show you that he is the, like we are all not, in scripture it says that Yehoshua is his only begotten son. Now we are all, we all of us, we are not the uh, begotten sons and daughters of the Most High. He only has one begotten son. Do you know what begotten means? Begotten means that is your 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 seed, your flesh. Okay, so when he says this is my begotten son, he's saying that is my seed that I produced. We are not seeds that he produced. He made us out of dirt and breathed life into us. We are not his begotten sons. We are his sons through uh, obedience and faith. And I'm going to show you right here in scripture. Okay. Begotten. The definition of begotten means generate offspring. Okay. That's the definition of it. Now, let's go to uh, John 3.18. Okay. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten son of Yah. Did you hear that? Okay. The only one, the only begotten son of Yah. The most high God only has one begotten son, one seed that is directly from him. Okay, let's read this one more time. John 3, 18. He that believeth not on him is, is not condemned. It's talking about he that believeth on him is uh, 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 not condemned. It's talking about the son. Okay, if you believe on him, you will not condemn. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten son of Yah. So you have to believe uh, that he is the son of the most high. So if you just believe that he is the Messiah and he's the son of Joseph, that means you don't believe that he is the son of the most high. So you're already condemned. It says it right here in scripture. Okay. Let's move forward and see what else he says. I'm going to keep showing y'all. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you. We are not all uh, his sons and daughter. Well, I mean, we are not all his begotten sons. The, the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, <clears throat> are the uh, his sons and daughters through obedience and faith. He chose us as a nation through obedience and faith. And let's go see. Is it in scripture? Okay. Corinthians 6, 17 and 8. Okay. Uh, Corinthians 17 through 18. That's what I meant. Sorry. Uh, Corinthians chapter 6, 17 uh, through 18. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, said uh, Yahweh, <clears throat> and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And will be a father unto you. And ye shall be my sons and daughters, said Yahweh Almighty. Okay, he's telling us. 
if we do these things, be obedient, you know what I'm saying? Have faith, we shall be his sons and daughters. We're not his begotten sons and daughters, we're his sons and daughters through obedience and faith. Let's go and, and keep proving it, okay? John chapter 1, verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Again, he's telling you we're his sons through obedience. Okay, and faith. We're not begotten sons and daughters of the Most High. He has one begotten son. He has one seed that is directly from him. That's Yahushua the Messiah. Okay. Exodus 19, 3 through 9. And Moses went up, and Moses went up unto Yah. And Yahweh called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shall thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, okay, that's obedience. If ye shall obey my voice indeed, that you have an obedience, and keep my covenant, that you have an obedience, then ye shall be a particular treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Okay, we're his sons and daughters. We're his nation, his the children of Israel through obedience and faith. Okay, not begotten sons and daughters of him. We're not. Uh, uh, directly from the Most High. Only he has one son directly of the Most High. Okay? Uh, directly from him. Let's keep reading. Uh, where were we at? We had verse 6 now. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. And Moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which Yahweh commanded him. And all the people answered together and said, All that Yahweh hath spoken we would do. And Moses returned the words of the people unto Yahweh. And Yahweh said unto Moses, Lo, I have come unto thee and a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with thee, and believe thee forever. And Moses told the words of the people unto Yahweh. Okay? <clears throat> now, um, for a person to say that they believe on or in the Messiah, but don't believe he is the actual son of Yah, it's the same as saying they don't believe on or in the sun. Okay? Therefore, <clears throat> therefore, there is absolutely no salvation for the individual or individuals. There is no way to the Father except through the Son. Okay? So, if you want to listen to these uh, some, some, some of these camps or some of these other organ, uh, organizations... Saying that <clears throat> it wasn't a virgin birth and he is the seed of Joseph, they're already condemning themselves. And you want to listen to them? Uh, to them, you have to believe that he is the actual son of the father, the physical seed, because he's telling you that this, this is my only begotten son. He is not the son of Joseph. I've just proved that all through you, uh, to you through Scripture. You cannot believe that he is the Messiah and the son of Joseph. That means you don't believe. And you are condemning yourself. <clears throat> Let's read Matthew 3.17. Okay. <clears throat> and lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Okay. That is, a, that is his beloved son. His. And he is well pleased with him. 
okay? John 6, uh, uh, John chapter 6, verse 40. <clears throat> and this is the will of him that sent me. That's the son saying, this is the will of the father that sent me. That everyone with, uh, that, that everyone which seeth the son and believeth on him may have everlasting life and will rise him up at the last day. Okay? Now, John 14, 6. Yehoshua said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto, come, cometh unto the Father but by me. Okay? So you keep on listening to these people. And talking about you don't believe in the virgin birth and he's not the son of the most high Yah. You condemning your own self. Listening to them. Okay? <clears throat> now, uh, let's go down to uh, to show that uh, uh, the what you call it of uh, his uh, uh, lineage, uh, the lineage of Joseph to show that uh, he 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 can't that Joseph is not his father again. The, uh, this the one last scripture I just want to point out and show to you all, okay? <clears throat> you know, uh, let's see here. We're gonna go to Matthew one and sixteen, okay? Matthew one and sixteen. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband. Of Mary, whom whom was born, Yehoshua, is called uh, the Messiah. Okay, now right here it just told you, and Jacob begat Joseph. Okay, now if you read the whole thing, it tells you who begat who. This man begat this man. This man begat this man. This man begat this man. And then when it gets to Joseph, uh, Jacob, it says Jacob begat Joseph. It did not say, uh, and then, then it did not say Joseph begat the Messiah, uh, uh, begat uh, Yehoshua. It didn't say that. It didn't say Joseph begat the Messiah. It said, and Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Yehoshua. So it's telling you that uh, uh, Joseph was the husband of Mary, from of, of which Yehoshua was born he, he he was born from he was born married that was you know that was her uh husband he he was i'm sorry he was her husband okay and it's identifying that yehoshua was uh born from mary and not joseph okay and never said uh it didn't say that yehoshua was begat from joseph okay this explains that mary the wife of Joseph was the mother of Yehoshua. Okay, not the son of Joseph. Okay, and uh, that's all the scriptures that uh, I wanted to point out to you and show you that uh, you have been lied to, bamboozled. Okay, and y'all really need to go into scriptures and check these things out yourself because I just showed you clearly. And those who really had the Holy Spirit, you know, they see it as I read it if they didn't already know. Okay? Because some of you are very blind and very ignorant. And you just listening to these camps and not all the camps and not all the organizations. Okay? But some of them are putting out lies. And you're listening to them blindly. Just like the Christians sitting up in the church listening to the pastor. You're doing the same thing. Okay, so you really ain't got room to talk. So hopefully this has enlightened you to the truth. All I'm trying to do is, is give you the truth, not beat you down, but I have to give you the truth straightforward. So uh, hopefully if you didn't have it before, you understand it now. But thank you for tuning in and blessing Shalom.